This is a flat cap cafe racer. If you watched my previous video of me loading a uh, motorcycle up in a Transit Connect, uh, I, you notice I didn't look that comfortable doing that. I think it can be done. And uh, if I was taking on a long, longer trip and parking in motels and stuff, I think I'd probably do that. But I decided to get it trailer. Stay tuned. Meerkat. Well, I got a big Tex. It's a, I think it's a SA 30 10 foot. And uh, I haven't got a toolbox in it yet. But it's very similar to my other trailer. It's got a wooden floor. It's got a little shorter. Uh, I added on to the other trailer for a uh, for the lift gate so it's got a little shorter lift gate and I think I'm going to keep it that way I don't had the motorcycle that was fouling that but we'll see how the Thruxton does on that I've added a couple of things I didn't have on the last one I've got a brand new receiver here and you notice I've got a, a lock on the receiver I also did a if you can see this there's a spot weld on the nut, a couple spot welds on the nut to keep the somebody taking the ball off, then then taking the trailer. Now I've got another lock right here for the trailer ball to keep somebody from doing it that way. So I had a lock before here, but they could have undid the trailer ball, I guess, or they could have. I don't know if that's what they did. Is they took a Maybe took out this bolt here, but it's got locks in there now. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna paint the floor on this, then uh, to protect the wood, I got to get some eye bolts in here to anchor down because if I put end up putting a trailer box in here, that'll that'll keep me from doing that. Then I have to get some chalks to put in here, and. Uh, this one has the only thing probably there it's got the same size tires it's got the buddy bearings and things i think the only difference is in the lights they went to led lights now so but uh i think i'm well satisfied this gives me an opportunity this kind of trailer gives me an opportunity to, to do yard work and things like that which we use the other one for also is hauling gravel and mulch and things like that at this point I'm still configuring the trailer and uh, I got the small I've got a small toolbox here and I was going to fit it right in in here but what happens it gets it gets a little bit too close I can actually wind and unwind but by using this action it doesn't interfere but then it makes it a little hard to get to the the locking mechanism on the front because then you have to do a little off center so what I'm thinking here I'm going to be doing I'm going to be getting another couple of chocks that I'm going to be using but I think I'm going to off center the toolbox to the to the right side here I'm going to put one of the regular wheel chocks up towards the front I'm going to stagger a second one back over here. Then, if it if this wheel dock works, I'm going to have it as a right towards the middle of this. And the idea would be, when I'm just with one motorcycle, I'll use the wheel dock and go into the wheel dock. If I have two motorcycles, I'll remove the screws on the wheel dock and move them out, of the, move it out of the way, and just use the two uh, black wheel chocks in here uh, I don't want to have the way I was doing it before is every time I use the wheel dock I'd have to remove the uh, wheel chocks uh, the the other normal wheel chocks so I want to set it up so the wheel chocks are uh, can stay in and also I have them staggered so I can move the motorcycle when I pull in 
on the motorcycle instead of going to one side so far and being so close I'm going to spread them out to move it to the left move this one to the right a little bit then move this one to the left a little bit and so I'm not so close to the rail and by staggering them then I'll 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 uh, eliminate, should eliminate the possibility of the handlebars being so close together because one will be a couple feet in front of the other one. Now these are the uh, plates that I'm going to put on the bottom of the trailer. Uh, so that's what the wheel dock will go into. So I'll drill holes in the trailer for that and screw those in. And those screws, these screws here, Go in there, then, and when I don't want to use, I just loosen up the screws, slide the wheel dock out, and put it up and get it out of the way. The toolbox will actually have U bolts that will go down through the, the wood here and attach to below the wood here to hold the toolbox in. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run a stagger like this. If I'm running two motorcycles, I'll run the, the two black ones in here. And that way they'll be, I'll run the lighter one towards the front and the heavier one in the back. Um, that way I can, I can separate them a little bit more on the handlebars and when they're banging around and stuff like that, they don't hit each other and I still got a little bit more room on the sides. The one in the middle is the one I'm probably going to use just when I'm hauling one motorcycle. And I think think what I'm trying to do is get where when I'm hauling one motorcycle I can use the one in the center and it's the, the other two aren't going to interfere when I run the two black ones then I'm going to take this one in the center out well with my wife's help I was able to load the three bikes uh, I loaded all of them on the right side and I just tried to roll in field on the middle and uh, and if it works on the roll in field it'll work on all of them then i put the on the left side i put the roll in field on the left i put the thruxton on the right then i put the thruxton on the left and put the tiger on the left uh, right so everything fit fine i did add a couple of tie down points over here on the right hand side right here these High down points but I really don't think I'm gonna need them but just in case it's a side note loading the thrux gnar up with a belly pan I've got about one eighth inch clearance uh, coming over this hump right here so the next video we should be seeing uh, I think mr. Bill and I are gonna go out on the on, our, on my new bike uh, so stay tuned for that it's flat cap cafe racer out join me and my friends at flat cap cafe racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.